Welcome to Game the Game. I'm your host, Becca Scott, and on this show, we play games. This week, we are playing the Game of Wolf. Let me introduce you to my friends. Special welcome to Mark Mir, a voiceover actor. You may know his work from Mass Effect, and his show Tiny Plastic Men now has four seasons on Amazon Prime. Available here in the US, as well as the UK and my native Canada. Oh, Canada. I have to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, you sit, have down. To... Okay, sit down, right. sit down, sit down. We have Margaret Dost, a 3D modeler. You can find her work on Hero Forge and uh, a very cool Instagram with many of your art on there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And welcome back to Joseph Limbaugh. You know, just a great guy, improviser, uh, designer of postcard games, currently in a Kickstarter for Postcard Galactic. Dot com. I mean, you can go to dot com, to that dot com. And Check it out. Well, guys, we're gonna play uh, this little game, the game of Wolf. Now, in this game, we're going to be testing our trivia knowledge of various topics written on these cards and these boxes. But it's not just any trivia game. The teams change, and your points change accordingly. So we're gonna rotate, and each person is gonna take turns being the wolf. The wolf can hear the subject of the question and decide whether or not they think they know that topic more than anyone else and would like to go it alone, or they could decide to choose one person to join their wolf pack. Whoever is left out is going to be on the opposing team, and whichever team gets more correct answers and or is closest to the tiebreaker number will win the points. Question. Question, Becca. Are there sports-related questions in this game? If there are, we will burn them. Yes, I, I apologize <laughs> in advance to anyone who ends up on my team when we're answering questions about sports. We'll just rip those in half. It's fine. I, I don't know the sports ball. I don't know sports ball. You're welcome, creators of the game of Wolf. <laughs> I don't, yeah. <clears throat> um, Margaret, do you know sports ball? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Right now, the, the writers of the game, like, there's one sports person who's like, oh, God! He's storming out of the room. He, he is she. a wolf. Yeah, yeah. Why are these nerds testing my sports game? Yeah, well. <laughs> or are we playing the long game and all of us know sports really well? Ooh. Maybe. I know. That's not true. We'll no. find out. <laughs> now, to choose who is the very first wolf, we need to know who has the next birthday. I'm February, so not me. Yeah, I'm December. January. July 22nd. That's you, you're a summer baby. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. And now you guys know my birthday, so I expect to cards, receive many flowers. greetings. Mm. Cards. Seasons greetings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now the person to your left reads the first subject of the first card. Yes, that'll be it. Are you ready for... Okay, what is it? A question about fictional character professions. Because fictional character. I'm, you know, uh, real life sports I'm no good at. Fictional characters I'm pretty good at. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to be a lone wolf on this. Oh! oh. That means the three of us team up against you. Okay. So Mark, I'm gonna give you this whiteboard. You don't need the permanent marker and do not use the permanent marker on the whiteboard. No. Now we will decide amongst us the best answers by writing notes secretively and then we will write our final answers on the whiteboard and compare. Okay, now in deciding to be a lone wolf, I've actually made it so there's a team of three against me. That's yep. correct. Okay, all right, I'm that this may be a prime example of hubris, but here we go. So if Mark gets them all correct and the tiebreaker and we get them all correct and the tiebreaker, he wins though, right? Is that how that works? That's impossible because the tiebreakers are hard. Okay, well, okay. Physically impossible. Wolves will win most tie-breaking situations, because they could always just rip your throat up. If push comes to shove, they'll just eat you. I think because the tiebreakers are incredibly difficult, and whoever has a number that is closest to the number that is the answer for the tiebreaker wins. If everybody gets everything right, I'm gonna say everyone gets points. Question, the tiebreakers are always numerical, yes. They are always numerical. Okay, good to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you would, read the card aloud. All right, so, Fictional character professions. Name the profession these three fictional characters have in common. And this is a lot of names to read. Um, all right, so, uh, number one, Meredith Grey, Jack Shepard, Hannibal Lecter. Number two, Rachel Dawes, Saul Goodman, Perry Mason. Number three, Kenny Powers, Roy Hobbs, Ricky Vaughn. Four, Ross Geller, Indiana Jones, Ooh. Peter Bankman, number five. Mrs. Lovett, Remy the Rat, Kate Armstrong. Okay. Okay. The tiebreaker is, how many movies had Hannibal Lecter as a main character? 
How do you how do you feel now about choosing this, Mark? Uh, somewhat trepidatious. <laughs> somewhat trepidatious is how I feel. I think I may have uh, been very foolish to go out on my own right at mm, the beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On the tiebreaker, what do you consider a main character? Top six billing in the credits. Okay, well then, yeah. I think that this is right. I think that, yeah. No, mm -hmm. I was done quite a while ago, so I should get some You have brain. one brain and we have three brains. Yeah, we have to coordinate our brains. Mm -hmm. That's the advantage to being a lone wolf. So how do you, how did you do? Lone I wolf. don't know. <laughs> okay. uh, now, so we put our cards. Three, two, one, reveal. All right. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting choices. So, <laughs> if you would read the three people in question number one again. Uh, Meredith Gray, Jack Shepard, Hannibal Lecter. Doctor and doctor, and it was doctor. Oh, geez, okay. Number two. I, I almost said cannibal. <laughs> Close. So, uh, number two, Rachel Dawes, Saul Goodman, Perry Mason, lawyer, lawyer, the answer is lawyer. Sweet. Number three, Kenny Powers, Roy Hobbs, and Ricky Vaughn, private investigator and athlete or sports ball man. He is, in fact, a sports ball man. Oh, wow. A baseball player. Oh. So you were closer. It was it was because I had no idea who those guys were. It's like they must have something to do with sports. Yeah, this was a, we thought we had you on number four. Ross Geller, Indiana Jones, Peter Venkman from mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Well done, Margaret figured this one out. A professor, not an archaeologist. It was professor. And then uh, I said Mrs. yes. I specifically said university professors. Mm. So maybe. Yeah, that's kind of redundant though. Yeah, all yeah. professors are university professors. Not Professor X. <laughs> he was a professor and he had his own university. Uh, he had a school for. The gifted. It was literally, you don't get to, it was a high school, wasn't it? You know what? Moving we digress. On. Okay, all right. Agree to disagree. <laughs> Number five, Mrs. Lovett, Remy the Rat, and Kate Armstrong. We both wrote Cook, and the correct answer was Chef, and the tiebreaker, it was four movies. So wow. it looks like Mark, Mark is cleaned the person up. came up with. Look yeah. at that. Two points for the lone wolf, and nobody else is even on the board. Dun dun dun. All right. Okay. Mm. Uh, I would point out, though, there's probably some chefs out there that are going, we are not cooks. We are chefs. Every chef is a cook, not every cook is a chef. There we are. Yeah, yes. yeah. All right. Margaret, you are the wolf. And the topic is billionaires. 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 Lone wolf? Um, a teammate. I am going to take a teammate uh, here. Uh, you know what? You seem like a smarty pants here, apparently. Uh, the, uh, you want to join my wolf pack? Of course. I, I was a smarty pants last time. I will attempt to make my pants just as smart as they were in the last one. My Wonderful. pants are dumb. Yeah, Good. dumb pants. Team dumb pants. <laughs> All right, question. Name the company that made them billionaires. One, Bill Gates. Two, Jeff Bezos. Three, Sergey Brin. Four, Larry Ellison, five, Lillian Betancourt. Tiebreaker, as of March 2018, what is Jeff Bezos's net worth? I don't, I don't know. So let's start oh, okay. guessing. That's good. Ready. This is where we're, this is where we're at now. Yeah, this is where we're at. This is my life now. You're just writing them all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Oh my God! I'm so sorry. Yeah, we ran, okay. We ran out of this was not my question. Question: Name the company that made them billionaires. One: Bill Gates, Microsoft, Microsoft, and the answer is Microsoft. Okay. Nice. Mm, you. Mm, mm. Uh, number two: Jeff Bezos, Amazon, Amazon. It's Amazon. Number three: Sergey Brin, Brin Incorporated. We said and Stark Industries. Stark what Industries. is it? Google. Oh, we have it. We actually put Google, but in the wrong place. Yes, we did. Oh, no. Larry Ellison is number four. We have Google and Stark Industries again. And it was Oracle. Don't know what that is. Uh, uh, Oracle. That they, is, yeah, it's a server company. They do servers. Oh, also, yeah. servers. Fat girls alternate secret identity. Oh, right. Yeah. That's probably what it is. Oh wait, no. They they do like the like the, the the spying software that's like yeah it's it's like it does data mining it's it, it oh it's, it's a really benevolent company oh so we <laughs> we were right when we said facebook then we really should know our overlord well let's All find right. out uh let's finish this one out okay so number five lillian betancourt we said vw and you said stark industries we're gonna be right this time <laughs> okay and it was l'oreal oh, oh okay oh. And for the tiebreaker, as of March 2018, what is Jeff Bezos's net worth? You said 
We went low, 30 billion. We said 120 billion. I, I said we should say a bazillion. <laughs> <laughs> the tiebreaker, it was 112 billion. I knew this because after he got a divorce this year, his net worth uh, was still 60 billion. Question, so it, it, it is 120 or was it 112? It was 112. Uh, are we doing prices right rules? Because yes. you guys went over. Oh, no, 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 it's his closest. Oh, no, closest. Not, not closest oh, okay. without going over? All right, fair enough. Didn't specify that. Very well, very All well. Right. That's, uh, that's how the prices right does it. Oh, man. We got close to getting Google because we randomly guessed Google. I well feel like done. We did pretty well for people with dumb, dumb pants. pants. <laughs> well done. I'm sorry I let you down. Dumb. I just learned better for next time. Ha! So, let's see. You are a team of two, so you would have gotten one point each. A team of two or three gets one point for winning. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, no. nice. We're All on right. the board. Yeah, we're on the board. Dumb pants on the board with one point each. Mark on the board with two points. And Margaret, you're gonna get it this time. I Don't even worry. Someday. Oh, I'm reading the uh, thing, right? You're the wolf. Oh gosh, uh, wolf is a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. And I think you're gonna be excited about this category. This category is SNL characters. <laughs> That's Saturday Night Live characters for those of you who do not understand the acronym. All right, I don't trust myself enough to get them entirely by myself. I also want to take away one player from the other team. Both Joseph and Mark perform sketch. So, uh, sorry, Margaret, I'm, I'm gonna go with one of them. <laughs> Joseph, you're with me. Yes. Team Dumb Pants. Okay. Team Dumb Pants. Dumb Pants. Okay. Dumb pants over here. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, um, here we go. Everyone ready with their pens? Uh, name the Saturday Night Live cast member who played the character below. Number one, Gumby. Number two, Opera Man. Number three, Mary Catherine Gallagher. Number four, Matt Foley. Number five, Stuart Smalley. And the tiebreaker is, in what year did SNL first premiere? So here's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I know, but I know one, I know one. Um, I served her in a restaurant many times. Okay, I just have to to do this so I can jog my memory. Superstar. Superstar. <laughs> Wait, hold on, nope. hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm so upset with myself. All right, reveal. <sighs> Molly yeah. Shannon. Molly Shannon. Yeah, I think they got this one. For Molly sure. Shannon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, name the Saturday Night Live cast member who played the character below Gumby. We said Eddie Murphy. That's correct. You guys also said Eddie Murphy. Uh, sorry. Opera Man. We said Adam Sandler. You said Adam Sandler. All right. We got it. Uh, Mary Catherine Gallagher. Brilliant performance by Molly Shannon. Mm -hmm. We both blanked. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, nice. Okay. Matt Foley was played. Uh, we said Phil Hartman. You said. Uh, I just guessed at Bill Hader because I don't know the character. I'm like, Chris Farley. Oh. In a van down by the river. That's the guy. I always think of him as the guy who lives in a van down by the river rather than his character's name. In a van down by the river. You, you know that very memorable character name, Matt Foley. Matt Foley, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just think of him as Chris Farley playing that character. Yeah, and of course, Stuart Smalley was played by Al Franken. Which we All both right. got. So we're tied. So uh, we're tied. The tiebreaker, oh, we're yeah. Tied. We missed oh. one, you missed no, one. No, 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 we missed two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you, you, you said it. Phil Hartman. Yeah. in the tiebreaker, the year was, we said uh, 75. 74? No. It was 75. Oh. Yeah. And I knew it because I heard an interview with Tina Fey yesterday. Serendipitous. If only we'd remembered Molly Shannon, we would be, we would God, won. I also served her in a restaurant multiple times. She was a regular. <laughs> and, and That's embarrassing. That, yeah, Matt Foley, no. <sighs> All right, I think I'm very proud of everyone. Joseph, you were a great teammate, and I did not help you at all. <laughs> well, I did my best. I, but I got 75. That was anyway, great, yeah. Thank you, I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, new wolf this time. It's Joseph. Oh, I'm the wolf. So and we, that makes Mark the reader. The points. Oh, yeah, oh you wanna do points? Yeah, because I think, <laughs> I, I think we actually got some of that. That's one. true, you each get one point. I'm on the board. On the board. Oh, Mark is crushing it. All right, Mark's got three points on the board. Okay. We should not pick him this time. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, but whatever. Now, uh, do I read, does it matter which uh, box I read from? Uh, whichever one, do the one closest to you, oh, actually. Well. Here you go, because that's why it's there. Okay. 
Joseph, your category is 21st century events by country. All right, so no one has a hit for who they think would be good or not. I should just choose someone. I'm pretty or? great at naming countries. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stick with Becca. All right. All right. <laughs> Team Dumb Pants. Team oh. Dumb Pants. Very well. You me again. Okay. Great, we're doing great. Yeah. Great. So, 21st <laughs> century <laughs> events by country. Number one, 2013. A cardinal from this nation becomes pope. Number two, 2016. This country passes a referendum to leave the EU. 2014. Hosts the FIFA World Cup. What was that date? 2014. Hosts the FIFA World Cup. 2010. Ooh. This is some word from the country that it's from. I'll try to pronounce it. There's umlauts in this word. There's umlauts in this name. You can read it later. Erupts. Suspending air travel throughout Europe. I'm going to assume this name is a volcano, given the eruption. But like I say, it has umlauts in it. You can read it for yourself. You're helping us. 2011, a new nation gains its independence with Juba, or Yuba, as its capital. And what tiebreaker, in what year did the Orange Revolution protests begin in Ukraine? I think we're all gonna be team dumb pants on this one. <laughs> mm. I know some of these. Uh, I, my pants feel dumb just reading these. We are done tabulating our bullshit. All right. Our entirely accurate Ready? bullshit. As are we done tabulating our bullshit. Bullshit tabulations complete. Three, two, one, reveal. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, well, you were right about the South America thing. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Name the country based on the 21st century event that took place there. One, 2013, a cardinal from this nation becomes Pope. We said Spain. Argentina. <laughs> it is Argentina. Yeah. 2016, passes a referendum to leave EU. Great Britain. UK. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Synonymous. Yeah, it's Brexit. It's not called the Eurexit. Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. It's true. Though so technically, right. really only England voted for that because Wales and Scotland, they they, uh, they tended to vote to stay. But the majority ruled in that case. Until they yeah. break off, though, they don't yeah. get to say that. Mm -hmm. All right, 2014 hosts the FIFA World Cup. We said... Brazil. Uh, we said South Africa. Brazil. Ah, I got oh. one. <laughs> oh, dumb pants. Sports yeah. ball. Sports ball. Uh, 2010. I, uh, Kroll erupts, suspending air travel throughout Europe in which country? Iceland. 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 Got it. And finally, 2011, a new nation gains its independence with Juba as its capital. We said... Winterfell. And you said? Latveria, home of Dr. Doom. Yes. We nearly said Wakanda, but. Yeah. <laughs> no nerds here. <laughs> South Sudan. Oh, right. man. Apologies to the Sudanese. Yeah. Congratulations on your independence. All right, so let's see. If you count Great Britain as the Brexit vote, then uh, we've got three, and you guys have one, two, no. Three, but the tiebreaker is 2004, which was the year that oh, the Orange wow. Revolution protests began in Ukraine. You said 2009, we said 2015. So, points. Mark is killing it. Mark and Margaret. All right, so Mark, okay. you get one point. Margaret gets one point. And that was your first time being the wolf? Second, no, no, you were not the wolf. I was okay. not the wolf. Great. I started as the wolf. Now we're in round two. Okay. A correct answer for a team gets you two points, and a correct answer for a lone wolf is doubled and gets you four points. A wrong answer for a lone wolf gets you, or a, a, a non-win for a lone wolf gets you minus two. All right, Mark, you are the wolf yet again, and your topic, go ahead. Schwartz and A are one-liners. Oh my God. You wish you were the lone wolf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you studied for this moment? I feel pretty good about it. That said, I'm not so confident that I want to risk the massive point loss that would result from a lone wolf loss. So, Joseph, would you join me as 
on a, on a wolf pack. I would be Parker, honored to join this. you. We got this. We got this. We are reforming. Team wisest of pants. It will be Team Northern Indeed. Pants. Team Northern Pants. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for your short sitting or one liners? Mm -hmm. Question. Name the movie based on these famous Arnold Schwarzenegger one-liners. One, I'll be back. Two, it's not a tumor. Three, get to the chopper. Four, you're fired. Five, remember Sully when I promised to kill you last? I lied. Here is the tiebreaker. Um, in pounds, what is Arnold's personal best bench press? This one I have memorized. Oh, sweet. Okay, now once again in Schwarzenegger's voice. Oh no. <laughs> Would you like to take us out? I'll be back. It's not a tumor. Get to the chopper. You're fired. Remember Sully when I promised to kill you last? No, nope, it's no, it's gone. <clears throat> okay. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, <laughs> Schwarzenegger one-liners, I'll be back. The Terminator. Wait, yeah, and we Termi said? Terminator. All right, yeah. uh, it's not a tumor. Kindergarten cop. Kindergarten cop. Uh, get to the chopper. Predator. Nice, well done, mm -hmm. Predator. I really was sure it's True Lies. Uh, you're fired. We said True Lies. Damn it, but I no, wrote yes. True Lies though at the bottom, <laughs> so y'all would know that yeah. I thought about that as is a it, movie. You thought about lies? that for three. Doesn't officially count, but nice try. Is it in fact True Lies? <laughs> uh, it is True Lies, well, well done. done. That was yeah. Joseph, I, I drew a blank. And number I'm five, helpful. remember Sully when I promised to kill you last, I lied? Com Commando. Commando. Ah, yes. Tiebreaker. 520 pounds. Oh, and we 500 would have been good then. But we didn't. We we were we were down one. 1200. That's like that's, that's way. A, that's, that's like superhuman. Yeah. That's, well, that's like isn't, that's that's 400 pounds more than Captain America can bench press. Yeah, that's like the Hulk, but not a very angry Hulk, but kind of angry. A little mad, a little irritated Hulk. Yeah. He won awards. He wore sashes. He did pageantry with his strong manness. I would say 1,200 would be, be a good lift for uh, tween Hulk. Mm. You know, tween, when he's tween in Hulk. between Banner and Hulk and like yeah. he's got one big hand and like his brow. Is oh, I thought warm. you meant like teenage Hulk, like when he was in well, grade yeah. school. Yeah, it could do. <laughs> two points to Mark, coming up to six <laughs> points, and two points for Joseph at three points. Margaret at two points and Becca at just oh, no. one. But that's okay, because now Margaret is the wolf. Oh no. Oh. Um, you didn't ask me that. Yes. You're the wolf, you pick. All right, yes, all right, so who's? I am reading. Your one hit wonders. Hmm. What? What is Songs that about? Songs that by a band that just had oh, one hit. Oh, I absolutely need help then. <laughs> Might I offer you like an example? Choose? No. Oh, yeah, because they might be in there. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Oneaters. Becca, would you like to be on a wolf pack with me? That is a poor choice, but I accept. <laughs> 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 oh, no. All right. I know I'm sticking to it. Yeah, we're a pack now. Okay. Let's do it. We are team, team wisdom. All right. One hit wonders. Question Who sang the following one hit wonder? Ooh. One, Ice Ice Baby. Two, Who Let the Dogs Out? Maybe I was the right choice. You probably were. Three, Macarena. Four, I'm Too Sexy. Five, Tub Thumping. The tiebreaker, for how many weeks did Macarena spend as the number one song on the Billboard pop charts? Is a billion a bad answer. All right, let's do this. So. Okay, ready. You got it, Mark? Good, good, good. Yep. One, two, three, reveal. All right. Who sang the following one hit wonder? Ice Ice Baby, of course, Vanilla Ice. Mm -hmm. Who let the dogs out? You said. A Snoopy featuring Marmaduke. <laughs> Uh, I know for a fact that was Bahamin. <laughs> oh, that, now that you say it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Macarena? Uh, I said it was the cast of Mac and Me, that movie from uh, the 80s. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Margaret, what'd we say? Hey! hey. <laughs> <Mac> <laughs> All right. Los Del Rio. 
Oh, Ross Del Rio, right? Los Del Rio, okay. Los Del Rio. Okay, he dude. died in that plane crash, right? I am awesome, let me just say. Uh, oh, you got it right, okay. Uh, I'm Too Sexy was by? Right, right said, said Fred. Fred. I wrote Fred P. Otts because that is a bar in my hometown, <laughs> and I knew there was Fred in there somewhere. <laughs> it was Fred Flintstone, clearly. I'm a, I, I would I would give myself half a point rounded down. And we would give you no points. There would be no points. The, you the know game, what? Point round rounded down rules. means. You're right. The game's yeah, rules yeah, would yeah. disagree with you on that one. Uh, and of course, tub thumping. Chumbawamba. Chumbawamba. We all knew that. Yep. Yeah. Wait, so where do we stand? All right, so one, two, three points for us. One, two, three points for you. And how many weeks did Macarena spend as the number one song? Oh. You said 13 weeks, we said 12 weeks. It was 14. Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Oh, by one point? Uh, if only I had right said Fred. Mm. That half uh. point, if only it rounded different directions. Okay. I'm gonna go bench press a thousand pounds after this. <laughs> Because I feel like I can do it. Oh. I feel like I can do it. Uh, even Arnold oh, could not do that. Oh, oh geez. He is okay. He's the mountain, maybe. You know who could do it? Tween Hulk. Tween Hulk. Tween Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. The more angsty he gets, the stronger he gets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm a wolf, and I got decisions to make. Joseph, uh, what are my? Should I wait till you're done wiping? Yeah. Oh, here's your thing. Like, Joseph. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. There you go. Joseph, what shall I All choose? All right. Your category is. Flags. That's it. Just flags. Mark, you're yeah. mine. All right, flags. Team Shumbawamba. Team Shumbawamba. Right. Team pissing the night away. Team Mac and Me. Okay. You ever see that movie? Nope. It's 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 uh, worth it. Uh, worth flags. Time. I'll be your I Mac. think we'll be Team Tall People. Hey. Right. Hmm? Okay. Uh, all right, flags. Flags, you say. Here we go. Oh wow, okay, this is this is entirely visual because there's literally flags and you have to, I can't read this. Okay. Uh, name the country from its flag below. If these, you just want to say, it, yeah, uh, just <laughs> guess which ones. These are the flags. And the bonus tiebreaker question is, how many stars appear on the flag of Australia? Oh man. Reveal on one, two, three. Oh no. Okay, okay, interesting. So, name the country from its flag below. Number one, we've, you have? South Korea. We have? South Korea. South Korea. Mm -hmm. Number two, oh, that means we have two wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we did. <sighs> oh well. All right, uh, number two, blue flag with a yellow cross, you said? Sweden. Sweden. And we said, we said Norway. It's Sweden. It's Sweden. Yeah. Ah. Now, now, that I, now that I think of my trips to IKEA, I realize they're right. <gasps> yeah, that makes sense. Okay, now this is a flag with orange, white, and green stripes, and it is. You said India. India. And we said India. It's India. There you go. And then for number four, it's all blue stripies with a, another blue cross, blue and white cross in the corner. You said Iceland. Iceland. We said. Uh, Sweden. Which we already know is wrong. It's Greece. Oh. Mm. oh. Yeah. No, that's great. Uh, and then number five, red sweat stripe, white stripe, black stripe. You said Iran. We said Ukraine. It is Egypt. Oh. Well. So we're both wrong there. Do we? No, so they still got one more right. One point, one point, one point. Uh, and we just got one and one. Okay. There we are. So. No need for a tiebreaker, but just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, stars on the flag of Australia is six. Oh. Ooh, you said 12, we had 13. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of the flag of that bakery, because they have a baker's dozen. There's a bakery, uh, There's a bakery that recently achieved points. independence, and uh, right, no, yeah, I just, I just they have said 13 that. stars. I, yeah, you get two the points. The Down Under Bakery. Oh. The Down Under Bakery, yeah, that's no, why I thought. Wait, I thought. we get two points? You get two points in round two. So it's round oh, two. Oh, oh, oh. Two points oh. in round two. Okay. Yeah, I'm riding on some serious coattails here, and it's help. It's working. Okay, if you choose the right coattails, or they choose you. Yeah. All right. Then that's still. I'm really glad that right. this is not the category that I'm doing as the wolf, actually. Or you are the wolf now. Is I that know. correct? I am the wolf. Hmm. Uh, all right. Well. Over to me to read then. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right? Your category, Joseph, is movies cut short. 
movies cut short. That is that is the way that the category is. That's that's described. odd. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna shoot in the dark. I uh, have I let's I've, I've been with everybody now at some point. Mm -hmm. Now who's um, your favorite? <laughs> that's, don't don't put who's it like that. Who's your favorite though? I'm gonna go back with with Becca. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna team up with Becca. Very well. Um, it has nothing to do with me being on your side of the table. No. Okay. This isn't just a partnership of convenience. <laughs> no. <laughs> Quit trying to analyze my plans. Guess, Very well. I think it's movies that would have had a trilogy, and the third one was never made. That's my oh. guess. Let us find it, out. Well, in fact, name the movies that would have been cut short under these circumstances. Name the movies or the movie that would have been cut short under these circumstances. Odd, okay. Number one, Gandalf just rides an eagle and drops the ring into the fires of Mount Doom. Number two, the dude just goes out and buys a new rug. <laughs> Number three, a baseball team simply asks Mr. Myrtle to get their autographed ball from his dog. Number four, Lloyd doesn't see Mary Swanson lose her suitcase at the airport. Number five, John Bennett never makes a wish to talk to his stuffed animal. Tiebreaker, what is the value of the IOU in Mary's suitcase from the car that Lloyd bought? Refer referencing question number four. You're giving away information you shouldn't. Well, it I mean, I think the, the Lloyd in that and the Lloyd and Mary in this are the same Lloyd and Mary. I'm just going out all in. So yes, you got those those are your uh, those are your categories. All right, ready? ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Wow, great dumb answer. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so question one. Gandrop rides an eagle and drops the ring into the fires of Mount Doom would have solved the plot of Lord of the Rings and then Fellowship, Fellowship. Yeah, we both said Fellowship. It just, the Fellowship of the Ring is written in the answer. So, good job on us. Uh, number two, the dude just goes out and buys a new rug, man. Yeah, the dude really should have done that. But it wasn't just the rug, and it was the Big Lebowski. And that rug really tied the room together. It really did. The dude abides. The dude abides. A baseball team simply asks Mr. Myrtle to get their autographed ball from his dog. And you said? Sports ball, the movie. Yeah. Pretty close. It was The uh, Sandlot. Sandlot. I, I don't watch films about sports either, usually. It's a kid's movie from yeah, the early really 90s. The baseball team part of it threw me. <laughs> yep. Uh, you guessed right on your race dancer there on number four. Lloyd doesn't see Mary Swanson lose her suitcase at the airport. Uh, dumb and Dumber. Mm -hmm. And John Bennett never makes a wish to talk to a stuffed animal, you I think, said? I think you were right. Uh, we said, or I said, Calvin and Hobbes, the motion picture. It was Ted. I haven't seen it, but an, a man talking to a stuffed animal, come on. I've seen it, it's okay. <laughs> I forgot about Ted. <laughs> But it oops, and that, and you forgot about Ted. Okay, tiebreaker. What's the value of the IOU in the? Oh, you guys didn't write a tiebreaker. We technically wrote nothing. So zero. So is zero. Your guess. Zero's your guess. So we'll take it. Okay, and we wrote fifty grand. What's the value of the IOU in Mary's suitcase from the car that Lloyd bought? Two hundred and seventy-five thousand. We were a little off. A little bit off. Uh, <laughs> so somewhere in between our answers. No, way, way above it. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're all we're both super. <laughs> we were definitely wrong. closer. Yeah. We uh, we knew we wouldn't need a tiebreaker because we'd already lost <laughs> with sports ball. Oh sports right, ball sports the ball the movie. Yeah, that's, that's confidence mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that was my favorite question we've had so far. Fun. Joseph and I each get two points, and now I'm back in the game okay. with three points. <laughs> 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 all right, who's who is the wolf? You chose. I was the wolf. Oh, now we're on to round three. Back to me as the wolf. Yes, but things have changed now. In round three, a lone wolf with a correct answer gets four points, and a team with a correct answer gets, no, a lone wolf with a correct answer gets eight points in round three, okay. uh, and gets minus four if they get it wrong. A team gets four points for a correct answer. Oh boy. Yeah. I am the wolf. You are the wolf. Very well, what have I got? Chemical compounds. Oh, 
Yeah. Chemical compounds. I got this. Get you ready for some science? Who, who likes the science? I like the science. I like the science. You guys like both like the science. Yeah. Who's, who's more science-y? I don't know. It's hard Becca, to say. Becca, would you be on a team in a wolf pack with me? I would. Thank you very much. Team science. Team science. Team philosophy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's the science you like? Okay. Team chemistry. Okay, fair enough. Because we got chemistry. We got chemistry. All right. So, we have chemical compounds. Give the name of these chemical compounds. The common name. Common name. Give the common name of these chemical compounds. Question number one. H2O. This is getting pretty hard already. <laughs> Number two, NaCl. Number three, N2O. Number four, NaHCO3. And five, CaCO3. I'm gonna look at those. Uh, I will put that out after I read the tiebreaker, which is tiebreaker, how many different elements make up bleach? I like it. Okay. There we go. And then. I think the judges. Okay. Three, two, one. Flip. Okay. Give the common name of these chemical compounds. First one, H2O. Water. Water. Second is NaCl salt. Uh, third one, nitrous oxide into O, laughing gas. We've all got all three of those. Uh, number four is NaHCO3. You said stomach acid. We said bleach. Everybody's wrong, it was baking soda. That was baking soda. Oh. Yeah. Oops. And then the final one, CaCO3, marble. Oh. So yeah, you that said wrong. soda water. We said baking soda. I also thought it was soda water, calcium yeah, carbonate. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like calcium carbonate. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we each got three. Uh, and the tiebreaker. Uh oh. How many different elements make up bleach? You wrote two. We wrote four. It was three. What? We wait. Each. What happens then? Wait, okay. So that situation we were talking about came up. So it what has occurred? Here? I think we just get the same amount of points. Yeah. Everybody gets eight points, and therefore no one gets eight no points. No one gets anything. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it's a wash. Wow, that was a good one, though. Okay. Solid. We okay. are equally smart. So, Margaret, you are the wolf. I am the wolf. And oh, so me. that means you mm. need to read for me. Okay. No, my tablet. Uh, yeah. my tablet's right. Three more questions, and the game is ended. Margaret. Belly Brumble. Superheroes. <laughs> Damn. Will you go Lone Wolf, which is the only way <laughs> you could potentially beat Marker Joseph? Potentially. You were at four points. Joseph said nine. Mark's at eight. And I'm at three. So if you get this as a Lone Wolf, you'll get eight points. If you get it as a team, you'll get four points. Oh, if you and I get it, we could catch up. But then again, when I look around, I have a feeling that we all know superheroes here. But not, I'm gonna put my money on Mark. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some obscure questions in there that I think, yeah, Mark might be the only one who can get it. Um, you know what? I'm willing to take that chance. Let's catch up to them. Here, you and me together. Let's we got it. this, yeah, we, we got, got this. this. All, right. all right. All right. Wow. Superheroes. Name the superhero based on their tagline. Faster than a speeding bullet. With great power comes great responsibility. I have the power. Power, grace, wisdom, and wonder. Here I come to save the day. Tiebreaker, in what year did Superman first appear in a comic book? Yeah. Don't yeah. It's happened. Well, you know what I like is a nice even game where points are real close and this is gonna be just like that because flip on one, two, three. Nope. Okay. Mighty mouse. Nope, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Dang it. Well, 
Name the superhero based on their tagline. Faster than a speeding bullet? Superman. Superman. With great power comes great responsibility? Spider-Man. Thwip. <laughs> uh, I have the power. He-Man. Yeah, He-Man. Very impressed, I didn't know that one. He's Prince Adam, by the way, <laughs> the same guy. What? Don't, don't give that away. Oh my God. Power, grace, wisdom, and wonder. Wonder Woman. You, so, I've Wonder never, Woman. I've literally never heard her say it, but sure. Yep. I think it might she be is all those things. Yeah, it's an old saying that yeah. she used to say. Yeah. Okay. And here I come to save the day. Yeah. Mighty Mouse. Impressive. We wrote Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> he does save the day, technically. Probably. Often. In what year did Superman first appear in a comic book? They probably got that right. Nin oh, they were wait. closer. Oh. It was 1943. Oh. You wrote 1938. Wait, wait, and we had 1943. They are incorrect. We both wrote 1938. Superman first appeared in Action Comics in 1938. Maybe that was when he had his first his own comic. Maybe the first issue of Superman comics as opposed to Action yeah. Comics. There you go. That's probably why. Oh man, they're going to tear us apart in the comments if we're wrong. Well done. All right. The the man folk took 8 points each. In that turn. So, Mark, you are at five, Wait. six, seven, eight, plus eight is 16. Eight points each or four oh, points each? Four, yeah, four, we four points each. We're you're not a lone wolf. Yeah, yeah. Okay, four points each to Mark and Joseph. So, Mark, you're at eight. That puts you at 12. And, Joseph, you're at nine. So, that puts you at 13. Unlucky. Uh oh. You're in trouble now. All right. I am now the one answering the questions, and I'm going lone wolf. <laughs> Oh wow, you didn't even, you, you already know I, what this is? I have three points. No, you might as well. Uh, it is 90s boy bands. Cool. Oh. Um, so, I'm all on board for this. 90s boy bands. Okay. So you're Lone Wolf, we already know that. Uh, Do not look to me. We're all we're all on a team together, so I will be a I, very I little think help. Becca's probably gonna do pretty well on this. You can be It's my out. only right. hope. <clears throat> Name the boy band based on their hit song. Number one. Bye, bye, bye. Number two, I want it that way. Number three, Summer Girls. Number four, All or Nothing. And number five, Because of You. The tiebreaker question is, during its existence from 1977 to 2009, how many members of Menudo have there been? I've never heard of Menudo. <laughs> You've never heard of Menudo? Uh-uh. Is there hope for us yet? I don't think, oh, I don't no, think so. No, absolutely not. <laughs> um. Okay, good, good. Okay, we're ready. We're done. We're ready. All right. It's all done. It's happening. I think that these aren't all 90s bands, but I went with 90s bands as well. Three, two, one, flip. Okay. <laughs> you Spice Girls. All right. Name the boy band based on their hit song, One Bye Bye Bye. Obviously, our boy JT in sync. Yeah, don't look at me. Two, I Want It That Way by BSB, aka Backstreet Boys. You guys also had this one, uh, Backstreet Boys. Number three, okay, this is the one that's gonna win it for me Summer Girls. Obviously, LFO. You guys wrote In Sync. Uh, Obviously, it was LFO. Yep. What does yeah. LFO stand for? Let me fucking out of this answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, so, number four, all or nothing. You guys wrote boys to men. I had 98 degrees, which is wrong. It was O Town. Oh. Oh. Uh, but number five is because of you. I wrote Savage Garden. It was 98 degrees. You guys had Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. I had Spice Girls. Oh boy. I guess the 90s were along the happy with uh, all of us. And then during its existence from 1977 to 2009, how many members of Menudo have there been? We said 12. I said 23, it was 39. <laughs> oh, okay. Holy I figured it must be remarkable for them to put it on there, and I finally am on the board for knowing LFO. <laughs> Congratulations, Megan. I will take my eight points. 
Uh, so for three plus eight. 11. Thank you. I will just erase one of my points. Turning these hash marks into digits with <laughs> magic. <laughs> All right. And now me with 1,111 points. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better about everything now. Margaret wins because of binary numbers. Oh, man. Okay. This is our final question. Joseph, you are the wolf. I'm the wolf. What do we got? Mark, oh, read to us. Where's the nearest box? This would give it to oh, Mark. <laughs> I need to read that because I'm, I'm, I'm the reader for the wolf. The category is Netflix Originals. Ooh, Netflix <laughs> Originals. All right. Okay, I, I think, here's the thing, just really quickly, I could go with Mark, who's ahead, and if we, it, but if you guys win, then Becca will win the game, right? Because this is worth four points. So you would have 15 points and we would have zero points. So it really matters who I pick here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you're a kingmaker. Yeah. Um, well, kind of, yeah, but I, I feel like Becca has a good handle on Netflix originals. If you, uh, if you put me on your team, there's no way I can win because I won't be able to exceed you. Yes, but, and I'm utterly harmless. <laughs> cool, I'll go I, with Margaret. Uh, I feel, no, I, oh, I get to choose. You don't yeah, get to no, choose. I, what, what if I don't go in your pack? Is that a thing? No, just kidding, you pick. <laughs> what if I take a dive? <laughs> I choose Becca. Okay. Okay. I right. won't win, Netflix no matter originals. what. Netflix Originals. <laughs> <clears throat> Name the Netflix original series based on the description below. Number one. The Underwoods plot to take over the White House. Number two, Piper learns to live with the harsh realities of prison life. Number three, DJ and Kimmy are back, this time with kids of their own. Number four, the Rayburns do a bad thing when their black sheep brother returns home. Number five, Marty moves his family to Missouri to launder dirty drug money. And our tiebreaker, in what year was Netflix founded? Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. We got, name the Netflix original series based on the description below. The Underwoods plot to take over the White House. House of Cards. Piper learns to live with the harsh realities of prison life. Orange is the new black. DJ and Kimmy are back, this time with kids of their own. Fuller, Fuller house. house. Yeah. The Rayburns do a bad thing when their black sheep brother returns home. Uh, we said Baba Black Sheep, the quickening. I'm okay. pretty confident about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, say? this is the one I was thinking. Uh, Mary J. Blige, baby, it was Bloodline. Uh, Bloodline. Bloodline. I wrote Fargo season two. There you go. Which has a similar plot line, but different family name. And different network. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Uh, and five, I know for a fact, Marty moves his family to Missouri to launder dirty drug money. Great show, and as a Missourian, I'm so proud of the show Ozark. Uh, we said Breaking Bad 2, Electric Boogaloo. That's a <laughs> solid answer. Ooh, tiebreaker. Oh. Netflix, That's in what year was Netflix founded? 1997? We you had 96. Well, boom! We dumb pants. Way off. Dumb pants all the way. That means Joseph is the winner with 13 plus 4 equals 17. And Becca has 15. Feeling pretty good for second place. Mark uh, in third place with 12. And Margaret, a solid 1,111. Well done, you won. <laughs> How did you do that? Unbelievable. I just I'll tell you secrets later. <laughs> Never ever tell your secrets. <laughs> Guys, it was such a joy to play the game of Wolf with you. And uh, I hope we can again soon play yeah, more games. That's fun. And thanks so much to you guys at home for watching and playing along with us. We'll see you next time on Game the Game. Bye.